do you wish you could get ahead? We all want to get ahead. We all want to get ahead of our bills. We all want to get ahead of the markets. We all want to get ahead some way in our life. And sometimes we struggle with figuring out how we're going to get ahead. When you're asked about your goals or your progress that you're making towards your goals or in your business, do you give an answer that includes words like, yeah, but, or, well, I've been working on the, this, but, maybe somebody asks you, how come you haven't started that business yet that you wanted? Well, I've been thinking on it, I've been doing some research, but, or, how are you coming on that project? Well, been working on it, I've got a few other things going on, and, you know, I'll get to it, but, you know, so many times we butt in our way. That's funny. <laughs> we butt in our way. And we struggle with getting where we want to be in our life. We struggle, we struggle with getting ahead and getting things done. And we, a lot of times, constantly are seeking the approval from other people to move on. Is that you? I know we all feel that. We want other people to give us approval, to give us recognition or appreciation, but we're looking for approval a lot of times to move on. Maybe we spend so much time working on the next certification. Or if I can just get that one more training done, or if I can just get that next degree, I'll be where I need to be so I can start to do this. Well, if that's you, you're stalling. It's one of your limiting beliefs, believing that you have to have just some more knowledge. And as long as there's another level of certification and there's another level of knowledge for you to go get, guess what? You're stalling. It's a limiting belief. You're using that as an excuse. You're using that as a tool to not get done what you need to get done. So here are some of the limiting beliefs that we face and maybe how we can overcome those. First one, I'm not good enough. Maybe you have a great idea and you want to start a business, but you just say, I'm not good enough. I'm not as good as they are. They're really successful at it. I'm not good enough. Well, you're not them. You're you. You do it your way. They did it their way. You do it your way. You can be as successful as you choose to be. You need to focus on what needs to be done, not what somebody else is doing. You need to focus on what you need to get done. You need to focus on the steps that you need to accomplish in order to get this thing that you want. Your steps, not their steps, your steps. You need to take action on a step and don't look at the whole project. Don't look at the whole thing. Just look at one step. Look at the, I, I talk a lot about the next best step. What is the next best step to take? Focus on that one. Do that and move forward. Don't look at the whole project. Just focus on the next right, the next best step. Another limiting belief we deal with is, I'm not worthy of being successful. Not just, I'm not as good as them, but Maybe you think you're not even worthy of it. Why? Success and successful people, it's not an exclusive club. Anybody can join that club. It's not a matter of being worthy or not. It's a matter of doing the work. You need to show up and do the work. Maybe you need to grow your network. Go out and do some networking. It's a little hard today if you're in a community with this COVID virus that's shut down things, but you can still network. You can find people online. You can network in different ways. Find one thing that you can do. Do that one thing very well every single day. Every day, maybe pick a new thing, but do that one thing. Pick one thing every day and do it well. And then have the respect for yourself that you are worthy of having the success that you want. You are worthy of helping the people you want to help. You are worthy of the recognition that will come. You are worthy of believing in yourself. 
respect other people if you respect other people they will respect you share what you know go out and learn the things that you've learned share with other people because when people see you as a resource as a tool for them to grow as someone who will help them in their journey guess what you're gonna get what you want another limiting belief that we deal with so we say I'm not as good as they are not just I'm not worthy I'm not as good as they are well why are you measuring yourself against them who are you measuring yourself against you know people go out and play golf and they they want to measure themselves against Tiger Woods why he has exceptional talent but he started at three years old and he worked hard because he had a goal he had a mentor he had a teacher he had all the things that we need to learn how he did it so we can accomplish it maybe if you have this great idea and a great desire to create this new online platform and you measure yourself against Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs or Jeff Bezos or whoever why you're not them they're not you you have different abilities you can create your own thing maybe you want to be a, a an actor or a singer and you're you're measuring yourself against somebody like I don't know Taylor Swift maybe why she's done her own thing maybe you're measuring yourself against the local successful person in your community why they did it their way you get to do it your way if you measure yourself against other people you will always come up short because it's a limiting belief that we have so you need to stop that if you're jealous or you're angry about what other people have accomplished you're holding yourself back you're not doing yourself any favors you need to focus on what you can do not what they did not what they've done focus on what you can do see yourself doing the things that you want to do if it's if it's owning a busting business see yourself owning and running that business if you want to create a new nonprofit to serve people see yourself serving the people and changing their lives if you want to be a teacher see yourself teaching kids or teaching adults whichever it is see yourself see yourself succeeding and achieving it and you'll be amazed at the success that you can find because you're not them don't measure yourself against them be you another limiting belief this is a big one and it's really odd because it seems this would be strange saying to yourself I'm afraid of success what you're afraid of success isn't that what you want and you're afraid of it yeah have you ever seen somebody who has achieved some big success built a big business and then it failed and you don't want to go through that failure you don't want to go to the high and then all of a sudden you're at the bottom you don't want to go through that and so you decide to sit here in your life in mediocrity and just stuck where you are because you're afraid of success maybe you're afraid of the responsibility that comes from success you need to work on that one maybe you're afraid of what you think people will say when you become a success because you hear what people say about successful people oh they were just lucky they were raised with a silver spoon in their mouth whatever it's not true for almost every one of them they worked hard they had a goal they had a dream they worked hard you're just seeing them at the top but maybe you're afraid of what you've said about them that people will say about you work on that one don't focus on the negative what ifs well what if my business fails after it succeeds then what am I gonna do I'm gonna have nothing well what if I have no customers who show up what if what if the market changes what if what if a virus comes and shuts down the whole economy okay you can't what if your life we do that all day long to give ourselves an out to give ourselves an excuse to not do what we really 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 want to do the way to get past that is do something every day 
to make today better than yesterday. That's it. Do one thing every day to make today better than yesterday. The beliefs that you have affect your day-to-day -day decisions and the potential that you have to achieve what you want in life. Work on your beliefs. The self-limiting beliefs are your biggest enemy, but you can overcome them because they're yours. Replace your fears and limiting beliefs with this thought. I have the right to be as successful as I want to be. And I have the right to have in my life what I really want. Say that every single day. Let me say it again. I have the right to be as successful as I want to be. And I have the right to have in my life what I really, really want. Say it every day and believe it. Take action on that every day. Don't just say it and go on about your day. Do something. Take action every day. Believe in yourself. And go out there and get what you want in your life. I'm Mark Schinner with your Friday Focus. Talking to you from the porch. A little cool this morning, but that's okay. It's a great fall day. I hope you have a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.